After being married for about a year, our son Michael was born. It was a very difficult birth. I was prescribed oxycodone to deal with the pain. I was also consumed with postpartum depression. The doctor prescribed me clonopins to deal with my depression. Instead of taking two or three pills, I would take like five. Things quickly spiraled out of control. My drug use became pretty bad. We had a lot of problems in our marriage and we thought that it was better to go our separate ways. We thought it was best that we co-parent our son Michael. One day I was at Jerrica's house and I found needles, spoon, and some white powder. I immediately thought I had to get my son out of the house. Cody completely freaked out. Cody took our son Michael and disappeared. Cody wanted full custody of our son. Eventually Cody was given full custody. I lost my parental rights. Living without my son Michael was unbearable. I completely went off the deep end. I quickly became a heroin addict. At one point I was living in my car. I even got pregnant again and that baby was born addicted to meth. About a year after Cody had legal custody of our son, Kim, Cody's new wife, adopted my son. Cody and Kim stole my four-year-old son, Michael, from me. Michael needed a stable home. He needed both a mother and a father. I decided to adopt Michael as my own son. Kim's name is on my son's birth certificate, not mine. It felt like my son, Michael, had passed away. The only way I could cope with this was pretending like he just didn't exist. 